What's up YouTube, it's Josh Creates here with another video. I know I took a very long break, even though it was like four or five days by the time you see this. Um, I was enjoying my birthday weekend. I was very busy with errands and I kind of had a slight headache, but your boy is back with the TikTok videos. And without further ado, man, let's get right into it. Man, this is to the migrants, man. They come over this motherfucker, living in luxury hotels, probably everybody get some free money, and y'all complain about the food ain't good. Bitch, what would you eat before you got here? You were starving, probably, and you complain about the food? Fuck you. Man, what? why don't y'all take y'all asses back to where y'all came from off? Oh, because y'all shit, y'all's country is shit, too. So y'all try to run over here and try to get in our way, fucking with our money, fucking with what we got going on over here. Y'all coming over and talking about I hate American shit. At the end of the day, when your broke asses was over in your other countries and y'all was starving, you know whose money y'all was getting? The American taxpayers' money. You know when your kids didn't have shit on their feet because of bombs and shit was hitting y'all? You know who opened up their wallet? The American fucking citizens opened up their wallet and sent y'all fucking donations. That's who fucking did that shit. Y'all been living off our back for years, you lazy bombs. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy had some ulterior motives towards migrants. Now, in this video, I do not condone any type of hate. It's just that I am reacting to a current event. Now, uh, that guy went in. I don't think... Well, the government says that, we're, that migrants are not being uh, supported by Americans' tax dollars. I'm not sure if that's true. Um, don't believe me or if you, whatever, don't believe me what, with whatever I say, I'm just a reactor, but, um, it seems like they came over here and with the thought of like, they're going to get like, uh, instant, instant, uh, help, which they kind of are, they are getting the help, but it's not instant. You know what I mean? And I think, I think that most Americans are basically saying like, Hey, America, the government, whoever's listening, take care of us first before you take care of other people. And the fact that they can't take care of us first, that may cause like, you know, I guess a civil war, a war against migrants. You know what I mean? Let's continue. Feud going on in Chicago between the migrants and the low income on how your tax dollars should be spent. You work, you work, no more money for you. What? Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. No more money for you. It's lazy, you lazy. You lazy. Now you saying you're lazy? <laughs> She's lazy. Now you know that really pissed that woman off. That man who is a migrant who's never paid taxes is telling her no more money for her and calling her lazy. Do you think that woman's lazy? Hell, I don't know. There's probably some lazy ones over there. But she is an American, and the tax dollars that was going towards helping support her is now going towards supporting all those migrants. And for them to start feeling entitled because we have already been paying their bills for the last couple of years now, there is something wrong with that situation because Americans should come first. Nothing for so. all men, it's only four bathrooms. If one gets sick, everyone gets sick. It's very ugly. The beds are horrible. They're a piece of fabric. They're like a military bed. Wow. have a chance go back and look at that video um for those of you who are looking at this on youtube i'm gonna stitch the actual video in the comment section on youtube so you guys can actually see the entire video of what i'm speaking about what you have on this video are a bunch of migrants mostly men um who are here military aged men who are here okay this is something that people have been saying for quite some time about the migrant crises. I can understand if it was families coming over here, women and children trying to escape, but able-bodied men alone by themselves. 
in droves should be a concern it should be a concern right that's what a lot of people are concerned about these military aged men single men um, being put in school zones being put in predominantly black neighborhoods Um, one of the reasons why I believe that they're doing that putting them in predominantly black neighborhoods is because one thing that has been said and will continue to be said is that they just they want us out of here they want black Americans out of here they can send the immigrants back home when they're done with them. Peep game. It's perfect. It's perfect. This is chess. It's not checkers. It's perfect. They can send the immigrants back home when they are done with them. But notice there's been an uptick in fights between residents, right? American residents and migrants. It's been an uptick in fights. They want them to destroy us. They want us up out of here. That's my opinion. It might not be fact, but that's my opinion. They want us out of here. They do. They want us out of here. And I'm very proud of many of the communities for standing up and saying, no, we're not going to have it. We're not going to have it. Right? There's plenty of room in the suburbs. Why do you have to send them to these congested areas that are already underserviced and overpopulated? That makes absolutely no, no sense unless what I said is true. They want us out of here us and when it's gone because they can't send us anywhere like I said they they owe us money out of all the places all the groups of people that are here in America right besides the the Caucasians right the black Americans are the only ones they can't send back anywhere right they can call us African Americans but they can't send us there we've been here for generations upon generations most of us don't even have any ties to Africa even if we did go back, and from what I hear, like, you know, you get mixed messages. Some people say they're welcome. Some people say they're not. But, you know, I saw an article that said African Americans are colonizing Africa. Well, if they're from there, how can they colonize a place that they're from? You know, it's just, you know, just things to make you go, hmm. You know, just things to make you ask questions. That's all. Um, another thing is, why did they feel it was okay? to come here in droves as they did. There were allegedly flyers sent out to these individuals. There were allegedly flyers sent out all over the border, all over Mexico, like all over everywhere that these people got to and were told that they would be taken care care of when they got here. And where's the lie? Where's the lie? Did you see how many of those migrants were living when they got here? Where's the lie? They had big screen TVs. They had the best hotel rooms. So much so that they became entitled, so entitled, that they decided to protest on American land that they paid no taxes on, have fought no wars for, have worked no jobs at, have served no communities in, to protest for better living arrangements. When there are American citizens sleeping on the ground, thousands and when she says american citizen she means like a a homeless american basically so tiktok i hope this goes all over the world especially to those countries that keep coming here thinking that this is the american dream right it's not right especially when you're coming to the underserved black neighborhoods we're tired. You're not having it. It's going to be a fight. And I think that's what the higher ups want. That it has to be it. Ask yourself, it has to be it. Has to be. It has to be. What else could it be? Oh, if I know. That? I know. It could be it could also be for in my opinion, the Democrats to get more voters to vote for them. This I think that, that I think that's a good tactic that they're doing, but they they are staying quiet. Hey, I'm not choosing a side, but let me know in the comment section down below what you think. Right? There could also be another reason. Right? Many things can't be true at once. A lot of people are saying that if something does go down on American soil, those people are already here. It kind of reminds me of the movie Siege with Denzel Washington. Did you guys see it? If you didn't, go check it out. I think you could find it free on Tubi, if I'm not mistaken, but it's called The Siege. 
and it has Denzel Washington in it. And it's basically about this um, immigrant. The main character is like um, an immigrant, and, you know, he's kind of like this cell that's plotting to take down America. You know, this is fictionalized, of course. All right, guys, I'm, I think I, I should just skip it. We, I think we get the point, and she's taking very long. And I want to get to the other videos, so I'm going to just fast forward her. Oh, my God, she's talking a lot. All right, let me... What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm so sorry. It's Inigar in USA. No, no, no. No, we're allowed to film. No? Yeah, in USA, we're allowed to film. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Anybody in the street. Yes. Wow. Public place. New York City residents are now complaining about migrants taking their free food. They say that these migrants are first in line, leaving residents with no food for the holidays. Why do we have to take the butt of everything, okay? This community here is already suffering. The residents living in NYCHA's Queensbridge houses look forward to the mobile food pantries that show up weekly. But over the past year, they have witnessed 8,000 migrants move into their neighborhood, and they have also noticed the migrants are also starting to take their stuff. They was first online for the turkeys this morning. If they tell you to be there at 11 o'clock, you get there like 10.30, 10.45. But they already out there. The line is from over there to over here. That's right. These residents say that back in the day, they could pull up 30 minutes before and get all the food that they needed. But nowadays, they can't. Now, migrants are complaining, saying that they need more. Look at this video. video of migrants protesting on the floor telling the mayor that they need more food they need more hotels they need more everything what do you guys feel about this one are migrants wrong for this mm, i'm not really sure man let me hear it in the comments section. Hey, she's Phoenix. Well, this white girl's upset that there's too many migrants on her flight and that they're all flying for free on taxpayer dollars listen to this Right now I'm waiting to board my flight to New York, uh, to JFK, and it looks like we have a whole lot of migrants who are also boarding this flight. That the mm, she doesn't look like a migrant. U.S. taxpayer uh, are paying for. This is what the U.S. taxpayers are paying oh. for right here. Premium seats on Delta that, that they have. That old lady that's looking at her crazy does not look like a migrant. Well, I mean, she could be a like, regular pedestrian on the on the on the flight, but everybody doesn't have to be a migrant. People coming here, we're paying for this, shipping them out to New York City because guess what? Everywhere else is at capacity, so they have these sanctuary cities like New York that they're now shipping these migrants to. That we're all paying for. I'm at the Phoenix. She was spewing nothing but racism and conspiracy theories during this rant. To begin with, taxpayers are not buying immigrants their flights. Immigrants have to pay for their own travel. However, if taxpayers were buying these flights, immigrants and undocumented people pay billions into taxes every year, money they cannot claim that goes to the military, ICE, Border Patrol. I would much rather see that money go to helping an asylum seeker relocate. Also, you seem to be angry that these are premium seats. What happened? Did they call zone one and a lot of people of color got up and you got fucking jealous? So don't get mad. These people worked so hard that they were able to get money to relocate and buy a first class seat to New York. But your ass got a right coach. But I can't. I have to be honest. If I was catching a flight and I seen like migrants on there, I wouldn't even care. As long as I get my seat and I get to where I need to go safe and sound. That's all I care about, because honestly, that's what they care about as well. She doesn't know who these people are or what their situation is. She just really just saw a lot of people of color and started with a racist rant. This really disgusting behavior, and I'm sorry to anybody who was in that line who had to experience this hatred. My message is close the border, vet these people. Like, how come they get to cut the line in front of millions of people waiting? They're waiting to come to America the right way, but they get like pushed in front the migrants the illegal migrants 
they get everything. They put them first, put America's Americans last. We need to be America first, not Americans last. Mm. Do you think that AOC was responsive to messages like this? No, she cut her little press conference early because of us. She kept on talking the same thing. Housing for migrants, work for migrants. But what about our homeless veterans? What about our homeless Americans? Mm. She puts them puts the migrants first, us last. Mm. What you guys think about that? She puts the migrants first, but us last. Hmm. At this point, honestly, it's not it's not like a superbly big issue. It's more like in New York and Chicago. Um, I think that based off what the you know the news is saying, that's where they're sending migrants to. And um yeah, I I think if it was like a majority of like the states, like more states were like having migrants and then you know they're entering their state and they're getting more uh support than like regular americans i think then it would be more of a big issue but i think hmm that's a good question that's a good idea that's a good thing to think about honestly yes it needs to be americans first hmm that's really tough. That and then this is where you start to think like maybe they are they're just coming in. They're just the government is just like letting migrants enter the the border, enter the um enter America for a reason, for like a superficial reason. Like we all say, I see I see your I see you guys' comments. I see you guys' comments. That video blew up. New York versus migrants. That video blew up. But I see you guys' comments, and I seen one of you guys said that um, uh, it's a tactic to like get more voters to vote blue and stuff like that. And I'm there, like honestly, that looks like the best. That's that's like the best thing to think about. The best reason to think of like why the migrants are coming in the, in the into the U.S., especially like a blue state, two blue states. You know what I mean? So. I think if it was like more, not worldwide, but more nationwide, like different states, more states were starting to experience like uh, migrants and causing, you know, causing problems and, you know, like a basically like a civil war, migrants versus Americans, then it'll, it'll, I think then that's when like you're going to put more, the government will have more pressure on them. But yeah, guys, um, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. That's it for this video. That was the last video. Um, if you want to go back and watch that women's video that I skipped, uh, you could go ahead and do so, or you could follow her on TikTok. I think that's the best thing. Uh, the reason why I skipped is because like I couldn't really get my thoughts off and branch off what she says, and like she like jumps into like different things, which it, it ha she has valid points, but I can't get off with what I want to say. So yeah, guys, that is it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Needless to say, everything will be okay. My name is Josh Creates. I'm out.